everybody. I have something a little bit different this week. As a lot of you may know by now because I've mentioned it several times in other videos, I've been skimboarding professionally for about four years now for a good portion of my life. I'm 20 years old and I've been skimboarding since I was six, so 14 years. It's what I enjoy, it's what I love. I'd say it and YouTube go hand in hand. I'm so fortunate that I have two passions and two hobbies that go so well together. I mean, I can travel and film videos at skim contests and skimboard and film and do both and it's just really is amazing. I'm here to introduce an amazing skimboarding film that has been made by my good friend Tony Luizzi. He's been all over the United States and all over the world filming skimboarding at all the different contests from Brazil, Mexico, California, all up and down the east and west coast. I'm here because I'm presenting his trailer. He's allowing me to post the trailer on my channel and my main goal on YouTube is to really help out whoever I can and to help people the same way that I would want to be helped out. So if you guys check out this trailer, I know he'll appreciate it. I'll appreciate it as well. I've skimmed countless sessions with this guy at the beach filming. I've Got some of the best ways of my life in front of his camera so I'm really really looking forward to this movie. If you don't know what skimboarding is this trailer will explain and if this trailer doesn't quite explain the full movie will definitely give you an idea of why I love what I do so much. Skimboarding will always be my favorite sport it's going to be something I do for the rest of my life so long as I can but um, for now please enjoy this trailer and for more info about the short break film go check out links in the description. Thanks again Tony for making this happen I really can't wait to see it all come together. Thanks for watching everybody see you soon. É uma prancha parecida com, com a prancha de surf, mas mais pequena, sem quilhas. Inicia-se na corrida, a partir da praia, lança-se a prancha na areia molhada e desliza-se até à onda e dá-se a, a volta na onda, o nosso chamado rap, e volta-se a surfar a onda. Isso é a definição de uma onda de skimboard. I think it goes back to the first guy who skipped stones. The first guy who threw a plank of wood down on some little sandbar somewhere back a long ways, but I think we're all just people in the middle of the story. Skimboarding is not just throwing a wood board around in the sand anymore. So a skimboard you could use anywhere from a lake to behind a boat to the most advanced form is like surfing on it. Surfing on a skimboard is very challenging, but it's been shown to be possible. It's just that sensation of you know, sliding across the thin film of water is, is fun. What I tell people is that it's surfing however you're starting on the sand. We're basically running as fast as we can into the opposing wave and then being able to turn off of it and ride it back into shore. You can learn to just slide down the beach, which is relatively easy, or you can take it to the next levels, which a lot of kids do. From turn to more completed turn to more of those completed turns as he got better and better at manipulating the board. And he pulled a shove it on the wave and rode back to the shore. And that was, for me, that was a groundbreaking moment. That was the first time anybody had, you know, ever even considered that. I knew that we were onto something that was going to blow minds because I had been doing this every day of my life. You're running, you're dropping, you're timing, you're balancing, and then you're trying to look good while you're doing it. Like, that's a lot more elements than most, most board sports. That in such a foreign place, people that I don't really have a connection to are enjoying the sport, like I said, as much as I do. And you gotta mess with your head because skimming is addictive and uh, you'll start feeding off of it, you know? Like, you're not gonna operate correctly if you hadn't skimmed for a week, you know? It's just how it is so many different people together to meet up for one for one thing that they all shared in common. Well, it's definitely the, the family thing has always been there, even when back in the day when the Victoria team came out here to our East Coast Championships. Facilitating me to be able to go around the world and do all these things, and without those people, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't be here at all. So, I mean, I owe them everything for where I am today, for sure. I think you're referring to came about when the east coast of skimboarding blended with the west coast of skimboarding. And that was, you know, what really hooked me to skimboarding was
Hope you guys enjoyed that. Like I said, check out the whole Shore Break film in the description. Also, if you want some Juke Squad gear, I just got brand new stickers. You can go check it out on the website. I also have the website link in the description, so go click it down there. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Musty Carlos. Doing a ton of giveaways coming soon, along with plenty of new pranks. Like I said, check back on Monday for a new video, and I will see you guys then. Thanks for watching, thanks for sharing, and thank you so much for subscribing. See you soon.